it is illegal and impossible to stay 24 hours in this country. Almost impossible. I am in the smallest country of the world, the Vatican City State. And unlike you would think, there are no hotels in this country where you could stay. In addition, what is interesting about this country is that every night the whole country closes like a library or a grocery store. But even though the police is unceasingly watching over the Catholic sacred land, I have found a loophole in the country's laws and I'm here to prove that you can actually stay here for a full 24 hours. Legally. Ish. My 24 hours in this country begins right now. 9.45. Let's look around. Now that I said that... The whole country closes. I'm actually not so sure. <laughs> because I found information online that says the Vatican City does not shut down after a certain time. Which is different to what I knew before. Before coming all the way here. But on the other hand, sleeping in here for sure is not allowed but I know a way how to do that. But before sleepy time, I had to spend the day here first. And regarding the activities, there were not many options. Man, it feels funny that I'm in a country, but I'm restricted to this tiny square in here. And that's everywhere I can go. That's the country. Except I can go into the church if I go to this line. A little while back, this line was like going around the whole country. Okay. Grazie. Very good. Sure. In this video, I'm not digging deep to all the secrets that potentially lie in this mysterious dome complex. Frankly, that video is done already. That's Illuminati. Instead, Enjoying the papal air conditioning. I don't want to go out, it's so hot. I was more keen on climbing to the roof of the church to see the only place in this country that sells food. Here you can see me entering the Vatican's only cafeteria where I could and I should top up my supplies because I only have some candy and dry cookies as my source of nutrition. And here you see me exiting the same cafeteria without buying anything because I can't digest anything that costs three times more than it should. Well, at least the view was tasty, but it would get even better, and this is about to get biblical. As the heaven is said to be entered through a narrow gate, this was surely the right staircase. To my disappointment, at the last gate I didn't meet the real G. St. Peter himself, but at least there waited a view even tastier than at the cafeteria. Because there was nothing to do down at the square, and I didn't have tickets to enter the exclusive papal garden, which was the rest of the country, I decided to stay up here, close to the father, as long as I could. I was thinking that this would actually be a crazy cool spot to stay for a night. Imagine how the city would look like at the night. Uh, exit. Okay, okay. Well, I can confirm that the tower is not available for overnight leisure purposes. They kicked me out of the tower. I was the last one there. Now we are stuck outdoors. I found an infinite source of, I don't know if this is now the holy water, but at least I was not going to get thirsty as the night started to fall. So regarding the sleeping, I can think of three different solutions. First of all, you're a resident or a papal guest. No! Not gonna happen for me. Secondly, if you get a tour in the garden, I guess you could hide there, maybe. No! That would be highly illegal. And thirdly, I have my methods, Whoa! but I'm not revealing that quite yet, because it's not late enough. I guess I'll just have to pass time here on the square. Hi bro, you're camping in here? All right, cool. I'm going to do the same. Yeah. So this is a good spot? Yeah. Okay. Italiano? Italiano? No, non capisco. 
Bravo, bravo. Good night. Every single one of these spots, every single one is taken. I need to <laughs> reserve my place. This hotel is booked fully. Oh my days. So how exactly are these guys pitching tents in here? Because in Vatican, the Vatican police will definitely kick out any street sleepers. And in Italy, the Italian police will do the same. Well, as said, there is a loophole. Introducing the master plan of sleeping in Vatican. This fence right here encloses the area where you cannot sleep in. However, the border of the country lies next to this curb, which means that surrounding the structure around the square, there's a two meter stripe of neutral zone that is usually utilized by all of the homeless people. But tonight, YouTube will take over. I'm right now realizing a few things. Firstly, I forgot to take my earplugs, my blinders and my melatonin. So we'll see how well I'm sleeping tonight. Secondly, I have to pee, but I don't know how I'm going to do that in an unblasphemous way. I can smell the solution of someone else though. And thirdly, it's been fun. At least it's not cold to sleep. I mean, I've been sweating the last two months so much. I'm very sweaty right now. Throughout the day, the square was all the time supervised by the police. So if they were to bother me in my special accommodation, I would find out very soon. <laughs> A police one by, they literally don't care. Easy money. <laughs> Or, I don't know how money is involved with this, but... Vigili del Fuoco. Stato della Città del Vaticano. Vigili del Fuoco. Okay. So, Fire and Rescue Department. I have no idea what they are doing and why they are blinding mice. They didn't bother either. Easy money. It is really not peaceful here. People walking in here all the time. On the other hand though, the time is still only like 11 o'clock. So maybe it'll get more peaceful. Later on, I don't know how late the Italians like to party. I have to say though, in many of my videos, in this kind of videos, I have suffered. But so far, this has been very convenient. I have had the possibility to do sightseeing, it was fun. And even being here is quite comfortable. It's past midnight. I'm in my sleeping bag. And uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit tired, so I'm trying to sleep. Let's see how that goes. It's 5.45. And the police is going around, making noise. And then the police would just say buongiorno from the window, waking us up. For what reason, I don't know. The authorities are back. What is happening? This is wild. <laughs> this is wild. And they indeed closed the square for the night. 
it should open at 7.30. You remember I had, I said in the evening I have to pee. I haven't. So there's a public toilet on the other side of the square. Oh, I'm getting to the toilet. That makes me happy. Front for the toilet. It's closed. Well, I can surely hold it in as long as it takes. What do we do now? It is now two hours left. I'll just fortify here and enjoy a book. Yes, I am old and wise now. I read. Well, I shouldn't say that aloud, otherwise I'm getting a lot of books next Christmas. <laughs> it is such a nice weather. It's not hot yet. Gentle little breeze. I'll just enjoy the moment in here. It is. It's 9.45, I can leave. <laughs> I can leave. We're getting out of Vatican. Officially, right now. Ta da! Ha. If you also had fun, subscribe for more. <laughs>